does it mean to be the leading lady of your own life? The world may have many definitions of what a woman should strive to become. Boss babe, girl boss, but I believe there is something so much more empowering. It doesn't put you in the comparison competitive spirit. The leading lady takes ownership of her life, accepting responsibility. She's always growing and always changing. often resembles and strives to become like the Proverbs 31 wife. She defines success and living a quiet life, minding her own matters. She's not focused on what others are doing as if she needs direction on how to live her life. Her comparison is with herself, who she was yesterday and how she can become better today in the eyes of God. She has values, beliefs, goals. She is kind and gentle with her tongue but shows her self-compassion when she does or says the wrong thing. She's hardworking, supportive, and submissive to her husband because she knows that there is no better way to display true humility and courage than to allow someone else to take the lead ahead of you. Good morning, ladies. It is a beautiful winter morning. I wanted to bring you ladies along it's so beautiful out, so calming. Hi, <laughs> honey. I don't have much planned today, but I do want to bake something. It's cold, we're stuck inside. So yeah, grab yourself a cup of tea or coffee and wanna get ready with me, get ready with me, and let's go ahead and start the day. I probably need to get her down for a nap right after this. She usually gets tired around an hour after she wakes up and then she'll sleep for a half hour and then she'll officially like be up. I just wanted to answer Ashley's question because she asked in my last video, do I have any tips for wanting to start cleaning houses? Uh, she's a stay at home mom with two under two. So I definitely can relate. The first thing I would say is to pray about it because depending on how or what you're going through mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, if he feels like it might be not the right timing for you to do that, I know how hard it is to be like, I need to maybe get out of the house or want to make a little extra money and doing cleaning is a great way of doing that but because he's gonna know if it's best for you at this stage or wants you to be at home and just rest two under two is taxing so I have two cleaning jobs they both take me about an hour each I actually clean on Saturday morning so my husband can watch our son and then I actually bring her and put her in the wrap and she sometimes falls asleep sometimes is a little fussy it's a learning curve for sure but it only takes me an hour I definitely just pray about it be persistent and just if nothing happens just take that as like him saying it's not time he thinks it's best that you stay home too if you're looking for more practical ways just like word of mouth maybe in your local community you could put flyers up you could go to your local job and family services or put on social media yeah I hope everything works out and you can find a little job like that that you can just go get it done and it makes good money that's what happened in my situation so all I can really say is in the end just pray about it and if it's it's meant to be then he will allow it to happen. So I did also want to answer Joyce's question because she asked is there a better way to contact you because I did end up deleting my Instagram. Uh, I do leave my email below and that is just as quick as a text message because I check my emails every day so if you ever want to get a hold of me or talk to me I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can so <laughs> but you know how hard it is. Okay. Can you see you do? <laughs> She strives to cultivate a Christ-like personality and to display the fruitages of God's spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, mildness, self-control to herself, her family, and her friends. She's generous and looks for opportunities to help others. So since my husband has been home recently, 
advantage of coming back here. What I try to do is do my guided self-care journal. I've shared this before, so I won't go into do much, too much detail. Write out your daily to-dos, what's on your mind, um, your reflections, creative space, because I'm always thinking of like video topic ideas or things that I want to learn, like for instance, I want to learn how to make marshmallows. <laughs> Just a really good, nice journal. And then, of course, I always go in with my Bible study journal. I get this off Amazon. If I don't get the time to actually do one of these, I can just go back and re look and reflect and read what I have done. I'm really trying to cherish my morning routine, the things that I do, things that I've been trying to implement to help me to have like an intentional, slow mindset and also things that I can do to help small little habits like my lemon and apple cider vinegar and Celtic sea salt drink and just things like that to help me set the tone for the rest of the day. I think how powerful little habits can be, so really don't underestimate them. Okay, well, I am going to drink my coffee and do a little bit of Bible study, and I encourage you ladies to do the same. Yesterday, I tried to make them and they were all gummy. So this is gonna be round two. She takes care of herself and finds joy in the little things of life. Her priority is her family and her relationship with God. She strives to be content and find joy in the mundane. She keeps her home clean and her kids well nourished. She enjoys creative hobbies. She dresses for her day and often takes time each day to meditate on the beauty of nature. She is imperfect. She has daily inner struggles and battles she has to fight against, but she does not give up in doing what is good. I encourage you to believe and to cultivate this new mindset, to accept this title, this role in your life, because when you step into it, and really truly believe it, you will become the leading lady of your own life and you'll act accordingly.